All right, so we're starting with the breakdown of the Sherbrook reel, in which we're going to start, um, the whole tune starts off with a four note chord, with a G major chord. So you're going to play open G, open D, B first finger on A, and G natural, but as one bow stroke. And the trick is, this is one of the my favorite, um, one of the, my favorite techniques that I learned when I was younger was to bite the string so that you get an attack on the string. So it doesn't sound pretty there, but when you get enough speed, you're starting with grip. Instead of it sounding like a deflated balloon. So the, the whole point is put the bow on the strings, apply pressure right from the beginning so that you're putting the bow down on the G and D and pulling at the same time. Then you pull the bow while you're applying pressure. And in doing so, you start the song with so much energy. If you just put your bow on the string or your midair and you just drop your bow, you don't build the energy in that chord. It just gives you what I call, I think I just said it, a deflated balloon sound or kind of limp. Or. So instead, what I'm looking for is I want you to bite the G and the D together. And then you're literally going to bite the A and the E together. So you're going one, two, da 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 Except that was out of tune. Sorry. So try that for me. Okay, so what followed the chord was an up bow slur. Up bow F sharp. And I may have mentioned that we're in G major, so we have a low two on the E string. So if you don't put the chord in, you just want to start with G, you're going down bow on the two. Here's where it gets fun. You're going to play three, one, D, three, one. So one more time. Up bow slur. Now to the F sharp. C natural. So I'm going to go back a step. Let's go back to the descending scale. So you've played G on a down bow. Walk down the scale with an up bow. G major cross string. Up bow slur. D major cross string. C natural. Return to the G major pattern now. So that's one time through the A where you're going to cycle back and repeat it again. So you've played... I'm referring to a D major chord, so you're starting on the F sharp though, second finger, A open, D open, F sharp again, back to a G major chord starting on the G, come down on the G again, and then up bow slur to the, to the scale. that whole A section one more time. So you've played the chord with the bite. G major turnaround. A open slur. D major turnaround. G major turnaround. Repeat the melody. G major turnaround. Walk up the D major scale starting with an F sharp. Except here is a C natural. So 
do that one more time. Two, three, A, one, low, two, three, E, one, two, 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 two. So here's the A twice. section. So just played your turn slow ready and one more time down bow a f sharp sharp. So we'll try that one more time. Up bow on the F sharp, down on the A. Two. E. Reach up to your fourth finger B. I'm going to do that one more time. Now we're going to go back and repeat the next section, which follows the melody as the same as the first. Okay, so I'm going to put the whole B part together so you can hear what that sounds like in context. repeat it one more time. You can simplify it if you don't want to do the double motion. You can play the A's as uh, single bows. So you have a couple options there. Send me a note, let me know how that goes for you, and I'd love to hear your feedback on your next tune choice. <laughs> 